नमस्कार वेलकम टू दिस एडिशन ऑफ न्यूज बुलेटिन इन दी हेडलाइंस टुडे सेल डिक्लेयर क्यू वन रिजल्ट फॉर फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी पोस्ट द बेस्ट एवर क्यू वन हॉट मेटल एंड सेलेबल स्टील प्रोडक्शन लॉन्ग सर्विस अवार्ड प्रेजेंटेड टू सीनियर ऑफिसर्स and value education and personality development program organized at rsp school now the news in detail announcing the q1 performance for the financial year 2019-20 q1 fy20 Steel Authority of India Limited sale declared profit before tax PBT of rupees one zero three point nine three crore and profit after tax PAT of rupees sixty eight point eight four crore. The volatile market conditions, which have led to subdued demand as well as realizations, have impacted the performance of the entire steel industry, including sale. Accordingly, sale witnessed a reduction in its top line as well as bottom line. despite having consistent physical performance meanwhile sale is maintaining the tempo of improving its physical performance and has registered its best ever hot metal and saleable steel performance for q1 at 4.323 million tons and 3.653 million tons respectively despite the challenging market conditions sale achieved saleable steel sales volume of 3.249 million tons during the first quarter of financial year 20 which was almost equal to the performance during cply shri anil kumar choudhary chairman sale said the domestic steel industry has witnessed lower nsr and subdued demand during the first quarter of the financial year compared to cply however with the government announcing planned investment in steel intensive sectors including infrastructure and construction a positive impact can be expected for the industry for the rest of the financial year coupled with this the company's strategic priorities to ramp up volumes especially from the modernized units improving product mix and improving operational efficiencies lend a positive outlook to the company's future in spite of market challenges the company has continued it profit streak over past 7 quarters keeping in line with the tradition of honoring employees for rendering long period of their service to sale rsp long service award functions were held at different offices on 9th august a function organized at ed works conference hall mr gautam banerji ed works presented certificates and mementos to 48 executives belonging to e5 or above ranks of works area present on the occasion were concerned general managers and hods a similar function was organized at edpna discussion room on 10th august in which mr rajveer singh edpna felicitated mr praveen nigam gm fnd and three other executives on non works area in yet another function held at projects department mr atanu bhomik gm in charge projects felicitated four executives for successful completion of 25 years in the organization in the materials management department mr dk mohapatra edmm felicitated an executive for completing 25 years in the organization it is worth mentioning here that long service award winners of this year had joined the company in 1993 long service awards are being presented every year to the employees who complete 25 years of their service in the company as a recognition of their committed service it comprises a certificate of recognition and a stainless steel dinner set as token gift of appreciation a value education and personality development program was organized by the ethics club of ispath english medium school junior section sector 18 on 9th august mr ramendra kumar dgm pr and coc and well known writer graced the occasion as chief guest around 150 students of class 4 and 5 attended the program along with the teachers the program began with the lighting of the ceremonial lamp with the invocation song sung by swastik tripathi student of iems sector 18 
Mr. Kumar inspired the students by sharing live examples of Captain Saurav Kalia, the Indian Army officer who sacrificed his life during the Kargil War. Ms. Arunima Sinha, the first female amputee to scale Mount Everest. Mr. Sudarshan Patnaik, the internationally acclaimed sand artist and Mr. Dilip Tirke, former Indian cap hockey captain. He also narrated a fable which warned against being obsessed with physical countenance. The children thoroughly enjoyed the lively and interactive session. At the outset, Ms. Sushrita Das, headmistress IEMS, junior section sector 18, delivered the welcome address while Ms. Nirmala Eka, teacher IAMS sector 18, proposed a formal vote of thanks. Ms. Surupa Tripathi, teacher IAMS sector 18, coordinated the event. With this, we come to the end of this news bulletin. Namaskar.